What's wrong with you? Hey, where are you going? What did you put in the food, Andrea? Nothing. It's probably something she had at school. Come on, help me out, Victoria! This hurts a lot, Mom! Hey, do you want your dad to find out? No, right? So hush! Don't you think Victoria's been acting weird lately? Weird... as sin. Yeah, I mean... She doesn't even go out as usual. And she hasn't been eating well, plus... She's wearing a lot of oversized clothes. Sometimes puberty is a stage where a lot of changes may happen. That's something she can control. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Did you feel those changes or what? Yeah, different. Well, you start looking at life differently, school boys. What, 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 boys? What do you mean, boys? Victoria's just a kid, Andrea. She can't be looking at boys like that. Yeah, so it will be. I'll be brief with you. After the analysis we've done on Victoria this last six months, I can say the baby is healthy. However, it's important for her to stop using those bells. Otherwise, both of their lives will be at risk. I know, Doctor, but she's only a child. If her father found out, I don't know how he would react. I understand. In these cases, it's better for the family to stick together. Any news about the father? Well, it was a boy from school, but when his parents found out, they transferred him. <sighs> Such a shame. But oh well. I need you to follow those instructions carefully, please. It's in your hands. Yes, of course, Doctor. Thank you so much. <laughs> Are you feeling bad? I'm going to the restroom. Change your clothes while you're at it. Mm-hmm. <laughs>